Welcome to the Repeat Rewards Learning Channel. In this video, we're going to show you how to navigate the Merchant Portal. First, log in to the Merchant Portal at www.repeatrewards.com using the credentials you were given. Once logged in, you'll see several options um, to begin with at the top. On the left-hand corner, you'll see the name of your business and a drop-down for locations if your store or location has more than one. You can choose the location in order to update any reports you see to be location specific or choose all for compiled details. Then you'll see a, a drop down called Quick Actions. Click this to see some of the most commonly used functions. You can choose Advanced Member Search to find detailed reportings of certain um, search types such as all members or all members who visited recently, females, all sorts of details which we'll go over in another video. You can also see Add Member, which will allow you to add a new member to your program, or Add Transaction, which add, will allow you to add a transaction to give credit to a member for their purchase. You'll also find a couple of other quick actions at the top. If you click on the magnifying glass, it'll open a search bar where you can find a particular member using a variety of options available. You can also find non-members in the program who may be on a customer list in this area as well, or look up a gift card. Another option is the alerts area, which will show you uh, any alerts that we have pending for your account, as well as any bonus points that you may have. We recommend viewing this area often to see any promotions or discounts we may be offering, and any um, details that you may find relevant regarding new features. On the left hand side of the screen you'll see a navigation tool to navigate to different areas of the website. From the home screen you'll see a variety of different high level statistics about your program and on the left side you'll see other options to click through. Click on loyalty and here you'll see information about specifics regarding your program. You'll find member information, transaction details, uh, reporting about the member site, as well as some other areas where you can set up different promotions specific to the loyalty program. The next option is for reports. Here you'll see the marketing reports, which is going to be details regarding any marketing communication outside of your rewards, things like birthday offers, lost customer offers, welcome offers. In loyalty reports, you'll find the reporting regarding your rewards that are sent, as well as the demographics of the members that make up your program. In employee reports, you'll find information regarding the employees that are supporting your program, such as the transaction details that they have entered. In our marketing area, you'll find all sorts of marketing options to enhance and promote your loyalty program or marketing in general, such as the mobile app, uh, setting up emails, setting up text messages, things you can do to generate sales. The next option is gift card. If you're using our gift card program, you'll find a variety of reports and options here to view the history regarding it. You can also find information about online gift cards if you're using our e-gift card component of the program. In the non-loyalty area, you'll find a, a space where you can store customer lists of people who are not in your loyalty program to be used for marketing purposes. This could be an area for you to collect data for things like an uh, email list you may be collecting um, or any sort of other marketing you've done in the past. The next option is for my account and here you'll find the information we have for you on file as well as your invoices and a space where you can set up for alerts to receive about your program or to update the enrollment goal so you can stay on track and keep your staff encouraged to keep signing on new members. To log out of the site you simply click log out 